lice hunting. Lice are obligatory parasites that live externally on warm-blooded hosts. Close to 5,000 species of lice have been identified, with about 4,000 species infesting birds and 800 species infesting mammals. Lice can be found on all continents, even in the South Pole, and on the bodies of penguins. Humans host two species of lice. A. Head and body lice. B. Pubic lice. Lice are divided into two groups, one, sucking lice that feed on the secretions of their host's body, two, chewing lice that feed on skin, feathers, or hair and other bodily secretions of their host. If lice are separated from their host, they usually cannot survive for long. In addition to skin and hair infestation, lice can also transmit microbial diseases in parasitic worms. The history of lice and related diseases dates back to ancient human civilizations. Lice have plagued human populations throughout the ages, causing discomfort and sometimes spreading diseases. Historical records from ancient civilizations such as Egypt, Greece, and Rome provide evidence of lice infestations and related health problems. Ancient Egyptians recorded cases of head lice infestations and prescribed solutions, such as using a hat, to reduce the likelihood of getting lice. Moreover, Greek and Roman writings also refer to lice infestations, highlighting the widespread nature of this problem across different cultures and time periods. In ancient Chinese medicine, it was believed that lice infestations were due to an imbalance in the vital energy of the body or chi. Traditional Chinese treatments included herbal remedies and acupuncture to restore balance and reduce symptoms associated with lice infestations. In medieval Europe, they were basically everywhere, and clergymen considered lice and other parasites as reminders of human weakness. A medieval treatment for lice was an ointment made from pig fat, lead powder, and aloe. Due to poor hygiene practices, lice were prevalent until the Middle Ages. They have been mentioned in folk tales, songs, and novels. With improved hygiene conditions, their prevalence gradually decreased. The Renaissance period witnessed significant advancements in medical knowledge and the emergence of new interventions to combat lice infestations. Prominent physicians and scientists of that era contributed to the development of specialized treatments and hygiene techniques aimed at addressing health concerns associated with lice. Many lice, in order to protect their eggs, known as nits, attach them to the hair with their saliva. Consequently, the use of fine-toothed combs and medicated shampoos to completely eliminate lice became prevalent, indicating a more systematic approach to eradicating them. Furthermore, artistic representations from the Renaissance period provide interesting insights into cultural perceptions surrounding the onslaught of lice. Paintings depicting scenes of everyday life often portrayed individuals engaged in hygiene rituals or seeking treatment for lice infestations, offering a visual record of societal attitudes toward this pervasive issue. These artistic depictions not only reflect the prevalence of lice infestations, but also shed light on evolving strategies employed by individuals to combat this persistent challenge. Unique works in this field include Hunting by Candlelight or The Lice Hunt by Dutch painter Andries both, created in 1630, as well as several other versions of this work. These captivating paintings not only showcase the exceptional skill of the artist, but also offer a distinctive insight into the medical and social aspects of the time. The striking composition of the painting, combined with a subtle and warm luminosity, creates an intimate and unmediated feeling, drawing the viewer's attention to the details in portraying the figures, their expressions, and body language. The use of light and shadow creates a dramatic spatial effect, immersing the viewer in the inner scene and evoking a sense of witnessing a meticulous lice eradication operation. The contrast between the dark background and the luminous faces adds depth and dimension to the painting, emphasizing the harsh realities of rural life and the struggles of impoverished individuals, particularly during times when access to proper hygiene and resources was limited.
in a country house, where candlelight danced on worn walls, a family faced their age-old challenge. The Relentless Scourge of Lice. Each night, as the outside world succumbed to the embrace of sleep, the family gathered with determined resolve, armed with nothing but determination and the gentle glow of candlelight, to carry out their nightly ritual of lice hunting. This ritual was steeped in ancient tradition, passed down through generations like a sacred ceremony. With skilled fingers and unwavering patience, they meticulously combed through each other's hair, methodically searching for elusive lice that tormented their scalps. Each member protected their hair from the harm of lice with a hat or headscarf, and as they worked together, their faces lit up with the warm glow of candlelight. They found tranquility in this simple act of facing adversity. With each passing night, their bond grew stronger, and knowing they were not alone in their struggle brought them peace. All family members stood united against a common enemy, and through this shared struggle, they had formed an unshakable bond of love. So, in the quiet moments of the night under the glow of candlelight, in the warmth of family and the soothing hope that danced in the darkness, they narrated a tale of solidarity, resilience, and perseverance in their everyday lives, to be retold for future generations. The Lice Hunt provides valuable insights into historical hygiene practices in combating the spread of lice during its era, highlighting the challenges individuals faced in maintaining personal hygiene and fighting the spread of diseases. The precise portrayal of the lice hunting process serves not only as a reminder of the hardships endured by individuals, but also emphasizes the importance of health and disease prevention within society.